and welcome to Sigbacker's YouTube channel. I'm Steve. Today, I'm going to have a very, very quick video for you. We have been super swamped. We got a couple of cool parts in for the soft tail that I want to show you. I'll let you know where we've got them from. So stay tuned for that. Roll the intro. So like I said, like four or five seconds ago, we've been super super swamped getting ready for Daytona. Now, I don't know when you're watching this video, but this was shot in like February of 2022. So we're like two weeks out from going to Daytona and we've had the Amber Whiskey Road Glide Project up on the lift. We've been tweaking and torquing and polishing on that thing, trying to get it ready for Daytona. With all of that going on, I just haven't had time to get in here and do like really in-depth uh, videos. We were wanting to get the uh, ape hangers and cables and all that stuff on the soft tail install before Daytona, but that's more than likely not going to happen. But we got a couple of small things that I want to put on here. They're super easy to put on. I keep seeing them in the forum, so I thought they looked really cool. So I kind of did some digging around, found out where I could get them, but I see that they're been pretty popular in the forums on these soft tails so i wanted to get them on this bike to see what they look like so these little tri bar rings right here let me get this in the camera so you can see it a little bit better kind of old school retro y tri bar things that go over the top of your headlights very very cool i've managed to mangle the hell out of this package to get one out and get it on a bike just to make sure it fit before we actually shot the video because i've never put these on before so a couple of different things to go over though real quick seven inch round i think i got this off of ebay it's going to be part 90883 7-inch CR Lucas headlight cover with CR bullet. Um, so that's that if you want to get your hands on one of those. These you can find just about all day long on eBay and Amazon, the 7-inch ones. The 4.5-inch for the auxiliary lights, however, were a real pain to find. But the 4.5-inch are extremely hard to find. The only other thing is they didn't have the 7-inch. And so I was just curious if the 7-inch was actually going to match the 4.5, and, and they actually match really good. So don't worry about the 7-inch. They don't have it in stock. Uh, but I think that 7-inch was like 15 16 bucks. The 4.5-inch ones, however, they were about $40, $45. So it says right here on the back, it is the Spotlight Tram 4.5-inch. Oh, right there, $44. Bucks. So I wasn't too far off. Uh, it's a 4.5-inch Spotlight Shield Chrome Old Missile Style fits most HD models made in Taiwan. So these are made in Taiwan, not in the United States. So for you guys that think that everything that you have to buy that goes on your Harley has to be made in the United States, don't buy these. So once again, it uh, looks like it's called the Wyatt Gatling, and I'll get the paperwork up here so you can maybe see the background there. Wyatt Gatling makes these. I don't know who that is, but they're pretty cool. The, so the company that actually had these was Factory 47, and uh, so they had the four and a half inch. So if you see over here on the bike, I've already got one of them installed. I just want to see what it looked like, make sure it fit real good on the auxiliary lamp. So what we're gonna do right now is just take this auxiliary ring off and, and put it on real quick. So, but it doesn't matter if you got stock lights or if you got aftermarkets because they set in between the light and then, like I said, whatever visor or stock ring that you may have on your auxiliary light. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver real quick and then we're gonna get this off and get it on there and see what it looks like. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cover up my front fender because I don't trust myself as far as I can spit to not drop this screwdriver off of one of these and smash it into the fender. Now you don't have to have a fancy smancy Harley Davidson fender cover. Just grab yourself a towel, throw it on the fender. Cause there's a 99% chance you're probably gonna drop something and you don't wanna scratch your fender. So get that thing covered up. So we're gonna grab our screwdriver and a pair of needle nose because that little nut in there, if you've ever put these rings on, they're a real pain to hold on to. So hopefully we can get a good bite on the needle nose to keep that from spinning because I cannot get any kind of wrench on there. That seems to be working. So hang on to that guy. I don't know if that thing's shooting across the garage. Take our screw out. So on the back side, just pop it off. We're going to go ahead and take it out of the ring. If you don't have these rings, you just got a simple cover on there. Same thing. You still have to take it off because, like I said, it goes between the light and the ring. I'm going to work that off there. This just sets inside the ring. And as you can see, perfectly sets in there. It sets in your stock ring the same as the little visors. So don't worry about right now, don't worry about this being lined up. We need to get all of this back in the assembly first. We're gonna get our little ring 
We'll line it up on the back side. So we're gonna turn our headlight the right way. We're not gonna worry about this thing yet. May have to get in front of the camera, but I like to hook the top and then just kind of push the bottom on like that. So from here, we gotta juggle the headlight. That's gotta be straight. The tri bar's gotta be straight. Your visor's gotta be straight. And put that all the way through. Try not to drop this nut, get it started on the back side. It's very tiny room to get your hand in there, the nut in there, and held it. But once you get it started like that, it's not too bad. That's it. So I'm just gonna move the camera back. Not gonna do any chit chat. I'm gonna change this headlight one real quick. So that's pretty much it. Pretty easy install. I do like the way that it looks. The only thing uh, that I'm not digging, and some of you may agree with me, and some of you may not, and that's cool, is the Custom Dynamics headlights. I think it's a little too much. I have nothing against Custom Dynamics lights. I mean, the, like I don't have anything against the lights. Personally, they came on the bike when we bought it, but they are notorious for stamping their ginormous logo all over the exterior of everything. So everyone knows it's their light i'm not a fan of that um so it's on that light it's on that light it's on that light and it just takes away from the entire look of the bike the auxiliary lamps aren't so bad with the little visors but i think if it was the old school just kind of i know there's leds out there on the market that are leds auxiliary and and the uh, seven inch round that kind of still look old school they don't they don't have all these different sections that the leds have so maybe that's something that we'll be changing i'm pretty sure like i haven't even been looking at it for 10 minutes and i already just don't like the way that it looks so i do love the old school retro tri bar um cadillac style look that this gives with the bullets like i said i do like that i just think that combination of everything is just way too much but we will definitely do something with that in the future i don't foresee this staying like that
So like I said, I've seen this a few times in the forums and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and of course, as soon as somebody posts pictures of these, there's a million questions about where'd you get them, where'd you find them, where'd you find the four and a half? Like these were called missile style. I mean, I've seen them called tri-bar, missile style. There's all these different lights on the market. Um, you can get on eBay and you can find these in like five and three quarter all day long, which are obviously too big for your four and a half inch auxiliary lights. You can find the sevens all day long on eBay and Amazon for 15, maybe 20 bucks. Um, I would highly advise there's some of them out there that are plastic, so it's just plastic chrome. I promise you, when I was putting that ring back on, that is so tight that when you go to torque that down, you're adding metal in there between those rings. So when you go to torque that back down, you're gonna bust that plastic. So do not cheap out and buy the plastic ones. I mean, they're already just like 20 bucks anyway. So if you're wanting to do this, the seven inch rounds are readily available everywhere. Four and a half inch round bullet style tri bar. You're going to have to get right now, as of the time of shooting this video, you're going to have to get those from factory 47. If you know of any other place that sells the four and a half inch rounds, please drop in the comment section down below and let everybody know. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of guys that are going to want to do this upgrade. It's super easy to do and it gives you a really cool old school retro look. So just drop it in the comments down there and let us know where we can get them. But that's it. That's a pretty simple install. Like I said, I don't have a ton and ton of time this week to get into handlebars and cables and all the other stuff that we still need to do this bike but if you have any questions on this you know the deal comment section down below well, i'll see you in the next video but until then as always be safe keep your knees in a breeze thanks for checking out the video don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe popping up over here and don't forget to check out the rest of the channel because we have a ton of bagger related and soft tail videos on our channel and to get you started maybe you can check out this one or this one I'm not really going to say anything else you can Click one of those and take it over to another video.